My name is Nanette Burstein. My film's American Teen, and you're on GordonandTheWhale.com. Good morning, Tigers. It's going to be a good year. Question, <laughs> what inspired you to want to do this film? You know, for me, high school was a really, it was a really tough time, like for a lot of people, but it was a really formative time in my life. Um, you know, I started out wanting to be accepted and fit in and be in the popular crowd and realized that that wasn't really a lot of fun in the end and ended up being much more like the character Hannah in my movie. Um, one point, Hannah, a pink mohawk and um, just, you know, really came into my own. But uh, so I wanted to do a more personal, honest story about high school. And a lot of the material that's out there is often not that honest on teenagers. It's, it's like a fairy tale. How did you pick the high school and the students? What was that process like? I wanted to do it in a town that only had one high school because I thought there'd be more social pressure um, and that there would be economic diversity. Um, so I called hundreds of schools and, and that fit that and 10 of them uh, were cool with letting me shoot the film there. And uh, I went to each of them and interviewed all the incoming seniors that were interested. Every so you didn't make the choice to after you interviewed from the ten schools? Exactly. Okay. It was really, at that point, it was, it was going to be the students that dictated where I was going to go. It was going to be the people that I found, the, the, the narratives that, you know, that they were experiencing. And, um, and this town, Warsaw, just had the best stories and best subjects. Was there one like, student in particular from Warsaw that made you pick that one, maybe over another one? You know, in every high school that I went to, the more popular kids would turn up, you know, because they're more confident and they think you're, you know, you're interested in them. And it wasn't that I wasn't interested in them. But the underdogs would tend not to show up. The nerdier kids or the more, you know, the outcasts or even the, like, emo alternative kids wouldn't really show up either. So for whatever reason at this high school, that wasn't the case. He looks like Magic Johnson. That's what my mom says. Like today, not when he was thin and good looking. <laughs> it's 47 all, and Clemens can still be the hero of this game. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Right now, I, I guess you could say I'm falling in love. Did you ever stop filming? Or did you feel like at some point loyalty or you didn't want to like intrude upon them to a point or did you keep filming no matter what was going on? You know, they were really, they felt really comfortable with me and they would tell me if they felt uncomfortable, like don't shoot this or, you know, don't show up because, you know, I'm going on, you know, I, I, I am having, a, you know, me and my boyfriend are breaking up and I really don't want this on camera right now. Maybe if we have a second discussion about it, you can come. Um, so I never felt like I was in a place where I wasn't wanted because I knew they would tell me if, if it was uncomfortable for them. Do you have any kind of idea of possibly doing like some kind of sequel or follow-up to see where they are now? No, I mean, you know, there is an American 7-Up series, like sort of like the Michael Abbott one. Mm -hmm. um, not many people have seen it, but, you know, they follow kids every seven years um, from all different walks of life all across America. And th this is a film where I really just wanted to focus it on their teenage years. Um, and really a slice of life of what it's like to be 17, you know, all the insecurities and the need to fit in and the pressures about your future. Um, but, you know, it's interesting because when the film ended and I screened it at Sundance, I didn't have an epilogue of where they are now. And that's what everyone wanted and was very upset about, actually. So I just added it. And, you know, it's just a, a card with each of explaining where they are at this point in their lives. So probably when the DVD comes out, we'll update that.